Are you a fitness professional that's looking to get started with your digital fitness business? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the secret formula to succeeding and thriving online. What's up, guys? My name is Sean Garner. I am the owner of EntreFit. I'm a husband, father, and fitness professional. Been in the industry for over a decade, and I know how frustrating it can be to see other people succeeding and thriving online and be frustrated at yourself because you're an awesome trainer and you just can't figure out how to get started or how to do this marketing aspect. So that's the whole point of this channel, guys, is to give you and equip you with the tips and tools that you need to thrive and succeed online with your digital fitness business. And in this video, I want to share with you something that was shared with me by one of my mentors, Russell Brunson. And if you look at this on the surface level, it's probably going to seem simple and basic, but I promise you, if you actually take the steps to follow each one of these steps, find and discover the answers and put them into action, your business will thrive. And so here we go. He calls this his secret formula. And uh, in this secret formula, it's four different steps or questions to ask yourself in order to make this business grow. You know, Tony Robbins has a quote, you know, successful people just ask better questions so they get better answers. I'm a huge believer of that. Um, as I learn to ask better and better questions from my mentors, uh, from the people that I learn from, that's whenever I truly discover, that's whenever I start working on myself and fixing the things that, that I've been dealing with and frustrated with. So here we go. Question number one, you should be asking yourself as part of this secret formula in order to grow your business is, dun, 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 who is your dream client? This is honestly the most important and fundamental and foundational thing that you should be doing for your online business and honestly for any business. Um, and I see people, especially fitness professionals, gloss over this all the time. Reason being, I know this, I'm a trainer too. Um, you want to help everybody. You have the skills to help everybody. You spent thousands of dollars in certifications, having all of these different skills and tools in your toolbox, and you want to use them all, and you don't want to be limited or held back. I understand that, and I very much believe you should be able to help everybody with your skills and tactics of fitness. However, if you want to stand out and succeed online, you cannot market to everybody. There's a very, very big difference in between your skills as a trainer and, and uh, what you can do versus who you are attracting and marketing online. Now, this is a whole separate video in itself that I'm going to do uh, coming up to where we really dive down deep into helping you to discover your who. But I want you to know that it's very, very important that you have to know who you're going to serve if you want to go online. Now, with that, I don't want you to think about starting out focusing on demographics. You know, like uh, I see a lot of people talk about their avatar, their, their, their target client and stuff like that. Don't think so much about, oh, I'm looking for men ages 35 to 45 that, you know, make this income, live in this city. That stuff will start to shape itself over time. However, the most important thing when discovering your who and your dream client is what problem are you solving? right? So if you are solving for at home hit workouts for busy people, well, then that demographic will start to shape, but start with the problem that you're solving for those people. Um, two questions I always give people to ask themselves with discovering their who is who is your favorite client and what type of client do you get awesome results for? So whenever you're thinking about this, you know, who's the client where if you train them all day, every day, you would love showing up to work. It would be exciting because, you know, this is your person. They're, they're like uh, energy boosters. Every time you're around them, you just love those clients. That will help to kind of shape your who. The second one is what is the type of client you just crush it with? You know, man, if I get a runner that's been dealing with knee issues and he wants to start cross training, I'm going to crush it with them. Or, you know, if I get a, a stay at home mom who's looking to lose 10 more pounds, like I crush it every single time because you really like showing up every day and going to work when it's somebody you like working with and whenever you're a winner and you get great results. So think about those, think about the problem that you solve and that will really start to identify and shape your who. The second thing, um, and this is why it's so important, you'll see how this starts building on itself. The second question to ask yourself for this secret formula is where are they spending their time at online? This is why it's so important to start with your who and to know what problem you're solving and who your dream client is because that lays the foundation for everything. If you know who you're going after, it's pretty easy to find out where they're spending their time online. I see people go, 
so frustrated and just bang their head against the desk because they put out all this material on uh, Instagram. Maybe they're doing a YouTube channel, a podcast, a blog. They're doing all of this stuff and it's just not working. And, and reason being is they're probably most of the time, they're just doing stuff that they like and they're not even considering about their who and who they're trying to attack or attract. They're just throwing stuff out there, hoping they can find somebody to bring into their world. But when you know exactly who you're going for, the internet's a huge place, but it's also pretty easy to identify groups of people. Whenever you have this who that you're going after, there has, I guarantee you, there is somebody that has already started to congregate the people you're trying to attract, right? If you're looking for, um, for moms or dads, there's so many different parent groups online with blogs, emails, um, you know, podcast, uh, Facebook groups. These are all the different places that you're going to start looking for your who, because once you've identified them, you should be so obsessed with them um, that you start to know the answers to all of these before they even do. do. Um, so you're going to find out where they're spending their time online because then guess what? If you're wanting to attract them, you have to start spending your time in those same exact places, getting to know what they're looking for and how you can ultimately add more value to them. The third step in this secret formula is what can you do now to attract them to you. So you've identified who you want to work with. You know where they're at online. So the third thing is, is what can you do or give to them to attract them to come into your world? The worst thing you can do, and please never, ever, ever do this, is just go into Facebook groups and start spamming. Hey, I'm a trainer. Uh, DM me for training. Or uh, you know, you see somebody post something about their weight loss journey and you're just spamming them. Just like, oh my gosh, that's so great. I could help you so much more. DM, here's my training. Like, it's not going to work. Imagine being in your facility and uh, does this work for you just walking up to the uh, client whenever they're on the treadmill like, hi, my name's Sean. I'm a trainer. I'm going to start training you. You could use me. You really need, you don't know what you're doing. Do you? No, it doesn't work. What you do in the gym setting applies just like it does online. You start finding out who you're going to work with, which for you, you have a who. It's the people that are members of your gym. Um, you find out where they're at, which is at your facility. Maybe they're in group fitness. They're on the cardio deck, training room floor, whatever it is. And then you're going to find out what you need to do to attract them to you. You want to add value to them. So again, this becomes pretty um, I, I like to say the term simple, but it's not easy. Pretty simple to know what you should be creating as bait to get somebody into your world. Just like very few people come up to you at the gym and say, shut up, take my money. I want to buy, you know, 10, 20, 50 packs of sessions from you. They had to start out with a free trial session uh, and a comp session or an assessment, some type of a process like that. You got to do the exact same thing online. And you, this is where you get to really be fun and creative and find different new and unique ways to add value and to attract them. I'm a huge, huge, huge believer and fan of email marketing and text message based marketing, but people aren't just going to give you their email address or, or cell phone number so you can start following up with them. You have to give them something of value to bring them into your world so you can have permission to start marketing to them in those ways. Um, this would be things like email opt-ins where you're going to create something that's called a lead generator. This could be a PDF. This could be a free trial. This could be, you know, some simple uh, nutrition recipes. It could be a kitchen getting started guide. Something that just gives them a quick win and result to get them into your world because you know who you're going after. You know where they're at online. And now you're just trying to find out some different what's that you can do to attract them and bring them over to you. It's not spamming. It's adding value. And then the final part of the secret formula is how can you and how will you make their life better? You know, I was asked this question once, and this is something I'm going to ask to you guys, because if you really truly think about this and put this uh, as the forefront of what you do, it will dramatically shape and change your business. Why should someone hire you versus one of your competitors. It can't just be your workouts are more cool. It can't be that. Because one thing that you need to realize, um, especially in the online space, people don't buy workout programs. They buy results and they buy into the coaches. So if you're just banking on, man, I, I write really cool workouts, that's awesome. I'm going to say this, um, and I hope I don't offend you. I just want you to really think about this. There is probably... 
workout nutrition programs that are just as good, if not better, than something that you or I could create for free online. So realize, you don't sell workouts and nutrition programs. You, this is what distinguishes you from those Instagram influencer people, you are a coach. You have the ability to coach and dramatically change people's life. So that is what you're doing. So you need to find out exactly what you're going to do and, and how you can make their life better by solving that problem that you have and what distinguishes you from your competitors because that's what your customer is asking themselves in their mind right now. Who should I hire? Why should I hire you over one of your competitors? Or the worst thing, just do nothing at all and just keep living life how it is. If you guys can answer that question for them and you can show them how you're different than your competitor and how you're going to dramatically change and impact their life and how you're going to add value to you to them, that's when you start truly doing what I think is the art of coaching and connecting people. And that's where you will dramatically change lives. So guys, let me know what you think down here in the comments below. Hopefully this video adds value to you. The Secret Formula by Russell Brunson. He talks about it in his book, .com Secrets. I'll put a link to that down here in the description below. Remember, you got to know exactly who you're going after, where they're at online, um, what you can do to attract them and bring them into your world and how you will make their life better. If you guys can answer those questions, become obsessed with them, write them down on a whiteboard, that will lay the foundation for a thriving online digital business. So hopefully this adds value to you guys. I have created this channel and this content because as a fitness professional, I have found that so many fitness professionals are awesome trainers, but they struggle with how to create grow and market their digital fitness business. So we created a complete coaching course program just for real fitness professionals like you. So if you're interested in that, check it out. It's at entrefitcoaching.com. Links down here below. Hang out with me on Instagram at Sean Garner. We'll see you on the next one. Have an awesome day and we'll talk soon.